Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? If you, the people, remember a couple months ago, I did a review on Hereford's Rip and Ready Meatballs in a Bag. That's right, shelf stable meatballs with spaghetti sauce in a bag, which made them super convenient and easy to take anywhere, whether you eat them at room temperature out of the bag, which they were pretty good directly out of the bag at room temperature, but they were even better after microwaving, even though they looked like a crime scene from Dexter. Ah, boogeyman! They were good enough that I gave them a rating of 6 out of 10. So with the meatballs and spaghetti sauce, with an above average score, I decided to try two more Hereford products today. Which is a 6 ounce Hereford Rip and Ready Shredded Beef Brisket, which cost $4.35. And the 6 ounce Hereford Rip and Ready Shredded Beef Brisket with Barbecue Sauce, which also costs $4.35. I know what you, the people, are thinking, and I'm thinking it too. $4.35 for 6 ounces of meat is pretty expensive. That's roughly 72 cents an ounce, or $11.52 a pound. Well, we're certainly paying for the convenience, but hopefully we're also paying for the quality at that price. So let's go over the shredded beef brisket first that contains beef broth and natural smoke flavoring added. It's also a product of Brazil. And if you, the people, like me, have ever wondered why so much corned beef is made in Brazil, here's why. And it's not only canned corned beef that's a product of Brazil, it's a lot of processed, canned, or packaged beef that's a product of Brazil. It doesn't make total sense to me, because here in America, we also have a lot of cattle. But if you listen to our government, our cows fart too much. So I guess it's just not feasible to make canned corned beef from American cows. Hereford Rip and Ready Shredded Beef Brisket with beef broth natural smoke flavoring added is made from selected brisket and cooked to perfection. Great for tacos, burritos, barbecue, or any of your other favorite recipes. Out of 20 global ratings, it received 3.6 stars out of 5. And both the good review and the bad review both had problems with the expiration dates being so close to the actual purchase date because the manufacturer does state they have a shelf life of two years. So if the manufacturer is distributing the product to the retail in a timely manner once the product is processed, then the product simply isn't selling fast enough and is sitting on the retailer's shelf for too long. Which common sense would tell you if it's not selling fast enough to keep up with the expiration date, it's just not a popular product. Or the retailer, Amazon in this case, is buying too much of the product. Here's the list of ingredients, and you can't get more impressive than this. There's three quarter cup servings per package. Each serving has 70 calories, 1.6 grams of total fat, 0.9 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 160 milligrams of sodium, no carbohydrates, no fiber, no sugars, and 14 grams of protein. So this is certainly low carb, keto, and carnivore friendly and absolutely vegetarian and vegan unfriendly. But to each their own, que sera, sera. Now you can heat your shredded brisket in the microwave or the stovetop. I'm gonna do it in the microwave because I'm lazy. So let's get it out of the bag and onto a microwave safe plate. And I wasn't sure what to expect when it came out of the bag, but as it came out, I certainly did not expect for it to look like tuna fish. Thankfully, it only looked like tuna fish and did not smell like tuna fish. It's much lighter in color than I was anticipating beef to be. But I'm sure the color is due to it being cooked in a massive pressure cooker. But I gotta be honest, the color of the beef somewhat concerned me. So right out of the bag, I took just a little tiny bite. By taking a tiny bite, that way, if the meat was bad, which I was sure it was not, I would only get a little bit sick and not a lot sick. That really made no sense, but I thought it was funny to say. But there's got to be at least one obligatory corny dad joke per video. And the little bite I tasted was fine. If you like fairly bland boiled meat. Which isn't a bad thing because it opens up the possibilities to season it or sauce it however you like for a variety of things. 
So the direction said to heat in the microwave on high for one to two minutes, which a one minute difference is quite a bit in the microwave. So I met in the middle and heated it for one and a half minutes. So here's our shredded brisket after microwaving on high for one and a half minutes. We mashed it up a bit with a fork and noticed that there's not a lot of excess moisture. However, the meat looks very moist, which is a good thing, even though it still closely resembles canned tuna fish. But a strange thing about the meat is it didn't really have any aroma whatsoever. So we forked up a forkful and then into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. Once the meat was heated thoroughly, it tasted a lot better. It had a little beefier flavor. You could taste the salt and the smoky flavor as well. It was good enough to have another big forkful. Even though these are rather expensive, I think they provide a great option for single people. Or if you're hiking, camping, traveling, or fishing. Add your favorite seasonings, sauces, and condiments and make a nice sandwich. Mix it in with gravy and serve it along some leftover mashed potatoes or rice and have a nice pot roast dinner. Or add it for some extra protein to your favorite can of soup. Or if you're invited over to your friend's house and they happen to be a vegan or vegetarian, mix it into the food that they prepared, but only the food that you're eating. So I'd give the Hereford shredded brisket with broth and natural smoke flavoring a solid 6 out of 10. Now let's try the Hereford Rip and Ready Shredded Beef Brisket with Barbecue Sauce. Hereford Rip and Ready Shredded Beef Brisket with Barbecue Sauce is made from selected beef brisket and cooked to perfection. Perfect for barbecue sandwiches, as a meal, and as a snack on a bun or tortilla. Here's a list of ingredients, and again, they're quite impressive without a whole bunch of garbage in it. On this one, there's three and a half quarter cup servings. Each serving has 80 calories, 1.4 grams of total fat, one gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 320 milligrams of sodium, eight grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, six grams of sugars, and 11 grams of protein. Now let's get our shredded brisket with barbecue sauce out of the bag and onto a plate. Now the brisket with the barbecue sauce looked much more like what I expected. And right off the bat, it had great aroma, obviously from the barbecue sauce. Now once again, we tried a small bite right out of the bag. Now obviously, due to the barbecue sauce, it had more flavor than the regular shredded brisket and the liquid smoke was almost a little bit overpowering with the brisket by itself. Once made into a sandwich, it probably wouldn't be as overpowering as it is on its own. So just like the first bag, the microwave directions were to microwave on high for one to two minutes. So once again, I met it in the middle and microwave for one and a half minutes. So we gave it a little mix and a mashing, and then we got a forkful. And at this point, it was smelling incredibly good. So you, the people, know the deal. Into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. And strangely enough, once it was heated, the liquid smoke flavor was toned down quite a bit. The barbecue sauce had a great flavor. It was sweet and tangy with just the right of smoke flavor now. And as you can see, it was good enough to continue eating. And just like the regular shredded brisket with no sauce, the meat was nice and moist and tender. And due to the extra flavor from the barbecue sauce, I'm giving Hereford's shredded beef brisket with barbecue sauce a 7 out of 10. Although a little pricey, I think both briskets were pretty solid and worth giving it a try. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.